So it's the 27th of November, it's currently 4 degrees outside and we've decided to go away in the pod. When we got back from our Scotland trip at the beginning of October, I cleaned the pod and put her under a cover thinking that that was us done for the year. But then someone said to me that I've got heating inside so why don't I just keep touring through the winter? And as someone who hates being at home for too long, I thought, let's give it a try. So this is our winter test. So I got the pod out, I got her ready. Here I am checking her tyre pressure. She'd been sat for about two months, so I'd lost a little bit of air. And then she was ready to go. Next up, I needed to pack the van. I could technically put this stuff in the back of the pod, but in order to keep the van heavier, it makes more sense to put it in the van. I then set up an action cam at the back so I could get some cool footage of me towing the pod. It was then just a case of hitching up and we were ready to hit the road. Now seeing as though this was just a winter test, in order for us to see if we wanted to keep travelling in the pod through the colder months, I didn't go too far away from home. We went to Delamere Forest which is about 40 minutes away. The idea is that if we hated it, we could easily hitch up and come back again. And we only stayed for three nights, long enough to give us a feel for what winter touring would be like. Now I did purchase this thermal wrap for the pop top just to help insulate the pod and keep the heat in, since this is where most of the heat escapes. And I can also use this in the summer to help keep the pod cool, so I thought it was a good investment. So we made it to Delamere, got pitched up, and we're now walking Winston around the forest. Really bright sunshine. I hope it stays like this for the next couple of days. If it does, I think it'll be a real nice time because you have that nice autumn feel. Everything is orange, the sun is bright, and it's just beautiful. So I'm hoping the weather stays like it is. And the pitch I've got is lovely, great big pitch, and it's right near the dog walk for Winston. So I can actually walk out the back of the pod, down some steps, and we're in the forest. Which is ideal because my plan for these next few days is just to go walking and work and walk and work. And that's just going to be me and Winston for the next couple of days. Fingers crossed if the weather holds up and we don't get too cold. Did make a bit of a mistake on the way down here though, when I was driving. So I pulled up to a T-junction and looked to my left, there was no traffic. I looked to my right, there was two vans coming, but the van in front was indicating to turn left down to the road that I was sat on. So I was like, cool, I can get out. And I drove forward, and then I remembered that I had the caravan on the back, and my vehicle was eight meters, and I couldn't just nip out as quick as what I can do when I'm just in my little van. But, I'd already got so far out by the time I'd remembered I had a caravan on the back and I'd committed then, so I had to keep going. And then the van behind the van that had turned into my road, um, that obviously inconvenienced him because he had to slow down because my caravan was in front of him. And I looked at him in the driver's seat and he was, he was shouting. I'm guessing he was screaming some type of profanity towards me. And I put my hand up and I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, as I carried on driving. But um, yeah, not good. I hate when stuff like that happens. And I try, well, I try not to forget I've got a caravan on the back, first of all, because if I was that van man, I would have been just as pissed off if someone had pulled out on me. Um, but for that split instant, I just forgot I had a caravan. And my little van could nip out in that space, no problem. But yeah, so not good over that yet but anyway walking around Delamere you know a nice long walk and then we're gonna go get some lunch or some tea actually because it's like four o'clock so tea we've already had lunch So it's my first night and it's currently three degrees celsius outside i'm in the pod i'm making my tea i've got a thai curry i've got the heating on i don't know if you can hear it going in the background 
um, and I'm actually feeling quite toasty so you can see my cheeks are quite red I haven't got any makeup on or anything so this is just me warming up and getting quite flushed I'll probably take my hat off soon if I don't want it all day um, so yeah I think it's going to be okay although tonight's going to be the real tester tonight it's going to go down to minus two and it'll be minus two when I wake up in the morning so when you actually have to get out of bed and get dressed so that will be the real tester I have um because I don't know if you saw the video I made about things that I don't like about the pod um one of the things I mentioned is that the heating is really far back so it's not really very easy to heat the pod when it's in the bed position so what I've done is I've got myself this electric heater here this is a camping one it's got a well it runs off a small wattage and it's got like all the safety features like anti-tip over and all the other stuff i'm not going to put it on while i'm sleeping but it means that when i wake up in the morning i'm going to switch it on and then it's going to help to just heat the pod up quicker um so i don't have to get out of bed in the cold that's the plan anyway and don't worry winston is going to be plenty warm enough as you can see he's got his fleece on and the heat is coming out of those two blow fans down there so he is definitely warm and toasty and when it comes to bedtime he sleeps in the bed with me anyway so yeah he's not getting cold can't let you get cold can we eh? good boy Winston's water bowls completely frozen So we made it through the night, quite successfully actually. Um, I woke up at half, well I got the pod nice and warm before we went to bed first of all. And then I turned all the heating off because I don't like having the heating on whilst I'm asleep. And then I slept soundly until about half past five. I woke up a little bit cold, but I think the reason for that was because Winston actually kicked me out of my own duvet. So. He comes into the duvet and then slowly starts to spread out and as he spreads out kind of pushes me out so yeah woke up about half past five a bit cold but managed to get warm again and went back to sleep and yeah overall quite good woke up this morning to lots of frost outside um, winston's water bowl stays outside that was completely frozen uh, but we were actually quite warm still which is good and there's something quite nice about all being like cosy and warm in bed but it being really cold and fresh outside it's actually really nice i actually really like it and the campsite's lovely and quieter which is great because i don't like people so yeah everything just seems so much more relaxed and like i don't know if you can see like is that conveying in the video just how beautiful it is like it's a cold day, but it's a lovely day. So I woke up this morning with loads of frost all over the caravan. But I was sat this morning having my breakfast. I always sit and look out the side window when I'm having my breakfast. And it was just lovely, like all these different colours and frost on the window, but warm and cosy inside. Yeah, it was great. So anyway, we got up. Uh, we're now out on our morning walk. We're doing the Whitmore Trail, which is I think about six and a half miles. And then we're going to go back to the port and have something nice and warm. But yeah, successful first night. Couldn't have asked for anything better, really. So I thought that was a lovely shot of Winston running up the steps to the pod, but I'll let you know that that wasn't his first attempt. This was. Not quite so elegant. I'm 
I'm just about to start my work and look at the colours. I should probably move with the heater, but look at the colours. Like, that's a lovely window view. Got a nice hot cup of tea. Kind of surrounded by nice autumn views. When Winston's at home, he's not allowed to lick the plates or any of the food containers because I don't like him begging about food. But when we're in the caravan, it doesn't matter because we're not at home. So all rules are broken and Winston can live his best life. It's all good now. Good boy. So I just wanted to add that I really appreciated this. So as mentioned, we're at Delamere Camping and Caravan Club site and every night when I went for my shower, this little Christmas display really brought a smile to my face. Okay, so lesson number one about winter touring is that this isn't that good. That's, fro well, that's not frozen, but that's frozen. That's semi-frozen. That water bowl is completely frozen. That's not, because I've just poured that for him. But we need to get a bag over it to stop it from freezing. <laughs> Worse than the night before, it went down to minus three. I'm just making some porridge and a cup of tea. Um, so I just got up and took Winston out for a morning wee, and everything is frozen. So all the front of the pod is frozen, um, all my water's frozen. I need to get um, some insulating bags for the water containers. When I knew I was going to be doing this winter test, sorry, the kettle's boiling as well, so that's going to start making noise. Um, when I knew I was going to do this winter test, I thought that I would have to get something to stop the water freezing. But I thought I'm only going at the end of November. It's not going to be that cold. It's not going to go down to freezing. So I thought, well, I'll do the winter test beforehand. Then if I like it, then I'll buy the insulating bags and everything for the water. Um, turns out it's been a lot colder than I expected. And the water is indeed freezing overnight. So my tap doesn't work at the moment. But that's okay. I had plenty of water in my kettle from the night before. So I've got enough to make a cup of tea. Um, I had enough to get Winston's water bowl full again, so we're good. Um, but yeah, I do need to get some insulating bags. Also as well, it's too cold now to go through the whole night without any heating on. So I've had to put the pod heating on low throughout the night. And it's not so much to heat the pod, it's just to take like the edge off, if that makes sense. And to stop it just getting really freaking cold. It just kind of keeps it a little bit more manageable. And then when I wake up in the morning, I can then turn on my little extra bonus heater and then rank up the, the pod heating to heat the space to get out of bed. But yeah, it just kind of keeps it a little bit more manageable throughout the night. So a hot breakfast is needed on a day like today, so I've got some porridge and banana. I'm just going to eat out of the pan to save on washing up. I've got a hot cup of green tea and a lovely morning window view. I know it's cold outside, but the bright sun and the clear skies, I think we're just going to have a lovely day. Oh, and there's people here in tents. There. And there's actually people in them, so when you walk past at night, it's obviously got lights on and you can hear, like, phones or TV or iPads or whatever going. I'm assuming that they've got little heaters in. I hope that they have got little heaters. Um, but yeah, we're going to have our breakfast now, ain't we, Wiggly? Hmm? You snooze for a bit. You usually snooze as well. I have breakfast. But you're like, why do you keep making all this noise? Hmm? <laughs> Good boy. You ready? Go on then.
lost one of my gloves. I think it's fallen out my pocket. I have a rough idea where it might have fallen out. So we're just gonna have to check on the way back. But yeah, for now I've only got one. I don't know if you can tell I'm walking uphill. So, whew, but yeah. Old Pearl Hill we're going up. Apparently there's a nice view. So we shall see. looking for a glove. Technically my dog's meant to be good at sniffing stuff but I doubt it's going to be much use. Looking for a navy woolen glove. I think that's it. Is that it? Found the glove win. Fortunately we'll probably just walk past it. Not that it smells of me. Nope. Let's sniff a dog. Hey. Come on, let's go. Hot soup and rolls on a cold autumn day. Oh, actually, oh yeah, November the 30th, we're still autumn. Not quite winter. It'll be winter tomorrow, officially. So this is the end of our stay and today we're going to go home. But we couldn't go without first getting up and having one last morning walk around Delamere Forest. Uh, went back. <laughs> Good boy. I don't want you going too far out. Oh, was cracked. <laughs> Ready? Come on then. So there's nothing left to do now except to pack up, to hitch up and to drive home. Overall, I think this has been a very successful winter test. There's a couple of things that I need to change for the future. So I need to get something in order to insulate my water bottles outside. I was speaking to another gentleman on the campsite and they said that they just use an old sleeping bag and they just wrap it around using bungee cords. I think that's probably gonna be my best solution, especially since I have got an old sleeping bag from our previous tenting days. I also need to get myself some good thick hand cream because my hands got really dry throughout these four days. I know that seems really trivial, but I used to work with horses and I was outside all year round. And once your hands get dry, especially if they get chapped, things can become very difficult and also painful. But overall, we were warm enough in the pod. So I've now got the pod home. I'm not gonna put a cover on because we are going to go out on more winter adventures. So hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next video.